over here, son. Come on. Walk to Daddy. All right, I'm coming, Daddy. Come on. Daddy. Come to Daddy. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm just one year old. Give me a break. Over here. Yeah, over here. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. Are you I'll serious? I'm one year old and you're leaving me alone. All on my own. Seriously. It's not cool. Oh, I can jump. I got the bald play word. <laughs> I'm one year old and I'm already a professional footballer. Go! And see now. Come to the gate. If I can score a goal. Come on, come on. No. Come on. I can come on. Come on. Score. Come on. Woo! He shoots, he scores. Alright, that's the play turn. Put your special boots. Yeah, I'll just walk. I want to see if I can jump on my bed. Oh, yeah, maybe the game doesn't want me to go to sleep yet. <laughs> Let's see now. Oh, yeah, this is the special skill bit. Dada. I think that's just going quite fast. Yeah. Mm. Can go right, Maddie, that's seven. I can't believe my dad left me alone. <laughs> Where is he going? Oh, there he is. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? That was me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. Right, See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst at the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Oh, I'm one year old and I already have a best friend. All right, let's see here. What she's like. Right. Come on, Dad, lead the way. I'm following you. These experiments are a waste of time. We experiment to prepare. Prepare. I'm turning from horse and essence gold to just in time. Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother... Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. All right, I will, Dad. Thanks. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. Great party, Amata. Thanks for doing all this for me. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. Mm. Yeah. Um, a date with Christine Kendall? Gross. I didn't think you even liked girls. And you know what I mean, before you say something rude about me. I guess maybe I should give this to someone else. Someone who likes Grognak the Barbarian better than me and Christine. The question is, 
How could you tell the difference? <laughs> oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was ten. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. Uh, what, are you two cool. best friends I, I now? Hey, Wally, I think Paul's gone soft on us. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Who do you mean, dork face here? Happy birthday, dork face. <laughs> I hope you appreciate the effort Amara put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Nice party. Attention, everyone! It's time to cut the cake! Great, I want to see. Whoa! Hey, happy birthday, nosebleed! I destroyed my cake! Stupid machine! Oh, no. Allow me to wish you a happy Come birthday. Come on, Wally. You always I have good ideas. I would offer you a piece of cake. Yeah, I got one. How do you like that, Pip-Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? It's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-Series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. The Mackers. Super cool, right? How's it going, pal? It's the head of the gang, you or me. No way! So, what do you think we should call our gang? It's gotta be totally killer, though. Daddy, I told you not to ask... Happy birthday, Sonny! I know you were joking, but I'm not sure anyone else did. Are you having a... Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Oh, you didn't have to bring me a present, Mrs. Palmer. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go, a nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. We are as dumb I as you always enjoy my... I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Go soak your head, Butch. I'm not giving you my sweet roll. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Little street. You're gonna be sorry, you Besides, little... that friend of yours could use a reminder that life is not all fun and games. How do you like uh, that, huh? Are you Butch, a nice what do you think you're doing? Leave him alone. You all right, son? I hope Butch didn't hurt you. You want to tell me what that was all about? He tried to take my birthday present. Why, that little... I figured it was him that started it. He's been nothing but trouble since the day was born. You let me handle this and try to stay out of the way. Yes, officer. All right, Butch. Thanks for coming, Stanley. Hey! Now that he's gone, I'm just gonna eat my sweet roll. Oh, yeah, I can really taste the cream and chocolate on the inside. Thank you very much, Mrs. Palmer. I know you were busy with the water nice purifier. Party, huh? Everything's fine. Can I it. I've had it with you, Butch. Oh, your mother is going to hear about me this and little Andy incident. Jonas? Let me tell you, it's my hey, fault. I wasn't. Then you would have said to me. You can fix anything, right? I'm Thanks. not going to tolerate I'll it. I'll send him right, right. Hey, 
That was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Happy birthday! Big deal! Are we done? For now, just remember I'm keeping my eye on you. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Yeah, my dad and Martha threw a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Thank you. I will treasure it always. Is that all? Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. I help with the decorations. Oh, never mind. Oh, I, I, I might read it, or then again, I might watch it. Not, so I'm not really promised anything. Anyway, I'm just going to run down to the reaction to see what Jonas and my dad got prepared for me. Okay, I'm really excited. Come on. I'm running like a ten-year-old after all. Let's go. Let's go. Is that Jonas? Let's say hello. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid. I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Awesome. Wait, Dad. Dad, where are you? Dad, are you out? You right? Oh, there he is. Are you ready for your surprise? What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Here? We can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is great. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Oh yeah, I'll quickly say thank you now. Happy birthday, buddy. I hope you have fun with it. Thanks a lot, Jonas. This is really cool. Hey, you don't turn ten every day. Now go on and let me see you shoot something. All right, you don't ask for it. Woo! On the next approach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. What's the deal? Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. <laughs> hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Yeah, and do it with me aiming my gun. Smile! Oh, darn. Boys and girls have different parts. Watch your right. anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That's like, I get any kind of special Tell treatment. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Oh, that looks a bit bright. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. If you say so, Dad. 
Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Anything I need to know about the goat? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. Goat. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? You don't sound entirely convinced about it yourself. Do we really have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Can we talk about, you know, mom? Your mother, she, she was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Fine, I better get going. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. I got out of here. And good luck. It's one of the bobbleheads. Use these bobbleheads are scattered throughout the game. Everyone will be able to push a certain skill by a certain height. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Points by one. The regular ones increase your skill points by ten. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. God, Butch! Why don't you just leave me alone? Let's go what into the store. What are you gonna do, Amada? Amada? Yeah? What do you want? What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer's gonna come down on your gang. Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like... Well, it was worth a try. Leave her alone or you'll answer to me. And who are you? Her boyfriend? Ha! Keep talking like that, boy. And we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. That's it, Butch. You and me, right now. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, tunnel snakes. This twerp needs another lesson. Right. Butch, Over stop here. it. Leave him hey. alone. Oh, a tough guy, Teach you huh? to mess with the Ooh, tunnel snakes. Give him another one. Anything. Hit him again. I got I'm another hit. one. Just like that in my other. Ow. This isn't nice solving one, anything! Uh. Please, uh. stop fighting! Uh. Hey, Susie, what's new? Come on, watch tunnel snake or swing this little bit. Okay, okay, you win. We'll leave the little girl alone. You're not worth our time anyway. 
Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. Whatever you say, Vicky. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Didn't you just get new parts for it last week? Thanks for getting rid of them. Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Yeah, sure did. It's not the toys. It's so old. My grandma had trouble with it when she was my age. Well, I hope it's... Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Come on, do I really have to take this stupid test? Do I? Listen, I like your dad. I might even like you if I wasn't your teacher. So here's what I'm going to do. If you want to skip the test, just tell me how you want it to come out, and I'll take care of it for you. Cool. Let me see the results, and I'll find... and I'll fill it out myself. Well... All right. Here, take a look. Hmm... I can choose what skills I want to upgrade. Speech is definitely a must. Medicine... So that way... I can heal myself a little easier, and barter. Like, so that way I can get some good prices whenever I go dealing. And supplies, and weapons, and etc. And, um... Yeah. Let's go, people. The overseer's patience is limited. Okay, guys, have fun doing your stupid test. I'm out of here. See ya. See you tomorrow. Well, right now. Anything is possible, even an A. That is the promise. Is he? Is he? Selfish and insubordinate. Look, just wake up. You need to Come know on, wake up. Oh, I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Like you. What's going on? Come on, you've got to wake up. Weird. I was just dreaming about you. Don't be a smart mouth. This is serious. My father's men are looking for you. They've already what? killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here. What the hell? Your, your father's men are looking for me and Jonas is dead? What? Jonas is dead? What the hell is going on? It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My god, they killed him. They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are, are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. My dad can't have left. The door is sealed. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault? How? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Thanks, Marta. I'll only use it as a last resort, I promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! Right, so I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't, I don't wait really for have me. Much time, so I've got to start packing. Uh, good memory. BB gun I got for the first time. Plus, I don't understand my own as the coming firefight. 
There he is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. Right. There's more where that away. came from. The officer or the roaches. Get it off me. Why do you do Stop in the name of the overseer. Oh, now he is. Hey, why are you doing this, officer? Mm. involved in this. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Butch, asking me for help? <laughs> if only you knew what irony meant. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rat roaches. All right, I'll help, but I'm doing this for your mom, not for you. Sure, I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. All right, let's go. I'll save your mom. What's happening? Ow, that hurts! But you stop me! We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man! Hey! I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. Let me get this straight. You've come from bullying me as being my best friend just because I saved your mom. Well, I guess I can kind of accept that. I mean, because... Um, there really nothing, nothing to take. Nothing of real value. <laughs> Let's get out of here. If you're okay, take your mom. Hold on, son. I just want to talk to you. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. All right, well, thanks, Officer Gomez. So it was Officer Mack. All right. Son of a bitch who killed him. Blazing.
Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Officer Mac. Just tell us where to find your grandson. The son of a bitch that killed Jonas. He's my friend. I was interrogating his own daughter. What does he have to do with really gone mad. Probably not. Which is why you need. Son of a bitch. You killed my friend Jonas. Prepare to die! Turn yourself in, young man. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. If you ever lay a hand on a moth again, I'll make you regret it. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that a motto will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about a motto, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. My father's no traitor, but you're a murderer and a thug. Let's let history be the judge of that. If you had paid attention to Mr. Broch, you'd understand that history is invariably written by the victor. And I intend to be the victor. You won't survive the night. Guards, help me! You don't even have the balls to try and fight for a Alright, well, I need to stand up. I'm just gonna leave the security. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, but there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe 
Someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Bye-bye. I love you. I love you too, Dad. And I'll find you whatever it takes. Thank you! I told you my father wasn't himself. I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along. You'd better get out of here. I'll try to meet you at the vault door. If I don't make it, good luck. I'm glad we might be getting into that game when I was in high school. Open the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. Hey, when I say I'm gonna do something, I do it. <laughs> You're right. I should have never doubted you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, for you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. There he is, in the name Whoa. of the overseer. Need some help with this one?
Alright, I'm going, Moss. I get it. Bye. Dad, don't worry, and hopefully we'll see each other again someday in the future. Alright All right, guys, I think this is a really good point to end the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And next time you see me, I'll be entering the wasteland for the very first time, and hopefully I'll be able to find my dad. Till then.